Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Marcus and today in this video I will share with you how to design and animate this kinetic typography using Adobe After Effects. So let's go. Let's dive right in. We're kicking things off by setting up our composition. I'll name mine Kinetic Type 30. Set the dimensions to 1080 by 1080 with a frame rate of 30 frames per second and a duration of 10 seconds. Once you've got that, hit OK. Awesome. Now head up to the top toolbar, grab the ellipse tool and double click it to create an ellipse that's the same size as our composition. Next, let's select the text tool and type in a letter. I'll go with A for this one. Once you've got your letter, choose a font that looks great and adjust the size to fit perfectly inside the circle. All right, now parent the text layer to the shape layer, the circle we just made. Press S to open the scale property and scale the circle down to 75%. Here's where it gets interesting. Select both the shape and text layers, right click and choose Precompose. Give it a meaningful name like Letter, then hit OK. With our Precomp selected, press S again to access the scale property. Set the scale to one third of the current size, just divide it by three. And now before we make the new copies, let's go to the top menu, open window and select the Align tool. Now press Command or Control plus D to duplicate the Precomp. We'll make eight copies in total. Then use the Align tool to distribute them evenly across the composition. Halfway there, next select the middle precomp and press R to open the rotation property. This is where we'll add a small expression. Don't worry, I'll include the code in the video description so you can easily copy and paste it. Hold Alt or Option on Mac and click the stopwatch to open the expression editor. Paste the code there. Uh oh, there's an error, no worries though. It's because we need to create a target layer that this expression can reference. Right click in the timeline, select new null object and name it something like target layer. Now head back to the expression editor and link the target layer variable to this null object. And there you have it. When you move the null object, the precomp layer will follow. Pretty cool, right? Now let's apply this same expression to the other layers in our composition. The easiest way is to create a keyframe on the rotation property where the expression is then copy that keyframe and paste it onto the other layers. All that's left is to animate the target null. Move it around and watch as the layers follow along, creating an awesome kinetic type visual. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, a great life, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.